trust more, big banks or big tech? It's a loaded question, but in the aftermath of some bank failures, Apple is positioning its brand as a privacy-obsessed tech leader to attract savers. The iPhone maker is now offering a high-yield savings account in the U.S. Its Apple Card users will earn a 4.15% annual yield, which it claims is more than 10 times the national average. Now let's be clear, Apple is not a bank, and it's not holding your cash in Cupertino. Instead, the money will be held in Salt Lake City by Goldman Sachs. The FDIC will insure the cash up to its $250,000 limit. To be eligible for an account, you'll need an Apple device, which reinforces Apple's goal tying people more closely to their iDevices, locking them into the Apple ecosystem, and giving them a reason to upgrade their phones regularly. Sure, Apple collects transaction fees off of Apple Pay, as well as its newly launched Buy Now Pay Later service, but the fees are a fraction of what the iPhone brings in. For Apple, these services are more profitable than device sales, and revenue from services helps smooth out its earnings in between iPhone upgrade cycles. Just as importantly, the more Apple services you add to your iPhone, the more complicated it becomes to switch to an Android in a few years' time. Financial experts warn there are downsides to turning your iPhone into a bank. All your personal and financial data is tied up in one device that could be stolen or lost. Your Apple ID could be hacked. And because you need an Apple Card, the credit card it already offers with Goldman, to access the new savings account, you may be tempted to use the card more as a result. Ultimately, Apple is counting on its clout to help it win depositors from traditional financial firms, betting that you'd rather sign up for a new savings account with a brand that already holds your photos, passwords, and data in the palm of your hand.